Here we go. Welcome <laughs> to the interracial couple. We've been hanging for a while. Oh, wow. It's your birthday. It is totally my birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Are you having fun? Yeah. Good. We've been talking about R. Kelly on the air for a while. Because there's, mm. there's been those those stories for the last 10 years at Wait, least. no. When you say a while, I want to make sure that we talk about like oh, the last yeah. 20 years. Well, like, I mean, I've only been doing the morning show thing for 10 years. But we've been talking about it for at least that long. Right? But like, it's like the Bill Cosby thing. How time. long did it take for that? Right? 50 women and then finally people were like, oh... I guess there's merit to this. I guess there's you know? merit. This right. Like Jello pudding pop ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, knock it off, you fucking roofie maker. Right. Let's, let's, uh, okay, and I like get all it. those people, like it was very similar. The Bill Cosby thing was very similar to Penn State in that there were many people that were actively involved in hiding oh that. God. There were people getting medications. There were, you know, whatever. But like... <sighs> That's where we're at with the R. Kelly thing. I think we're reaching that level where it's like finally we have enough people where hopefully people will take notice. So this is this is this is the core difference between like um, what we're talking about now and what we're going to be talking about in a little bit. Um, I think that money. And, like, I think that money plays a huge, huge part role. in this, right? So the latest girl that came out from, uh, I think she was from Detroit, but she said, so she was 16, and her man, she was, like, an aspiring model, and her manager got this card, and it was the R. Kelly card, and she went to the studio that's uh, now infamous, and she You mean the one he's was, getting evicted from. Oh, right. Because he ain't, because She broke. thought she was trying out for a movie, and he told her to get naked, and they would take it from there. So then they oh. had sex, and he put her in a cab with $1,000. She had never seen $1,000. Oh. She's 16. And she's like, I had no right. idea. Right? Right. And that's right. how he does it, dude. Right. Like, a thousand all dollars? of a sudden now it seems completely plausible. Right? One band? That's it? Come on, man. <laughs> any, like, any, any stripper. But accelerate it from there. Garter but belt they're not a stripper. But they're, they're not that. They're not girl. adult women. They're not adult women. Right. They're babies. Right. They're children. We know that when we talk to children, we know that we're not talking to real humans. Right. We're talking, that's not a, that's not a whole person. Their brains aren't fully developed nope. until they're 25 years old. I don't, I swear. I, I will I, argue that I know 40-year-olds that they're <laughs> fully fucking developed. Yeah. Man, listen, man, I don't think that you should talk about people <laughs> that haven't necessarily reached 40 years old. Like, what the fuck are you trying to say, homie? <laughs> like, all right, wait, all right, so look. No, but I... Like, <laughs> I was fucked up. But that's the difference, though. And, like, that's the thing, like... And it, it's crazy, the R. Kelly thing, that it's just now coming to a mm. head. And I'm, I'm surprised, actually, like... Do you know the, why? Because I know why. Lifetime? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's taken so long because of the category of the victim. The category that the okay. victim falls in, that, like, who is the victim? Well, these victims are little black girls. They're poor. Right? They're poor little black girls. Poor little black girls aspiring black artists. As Wolf Blitzer artists. said, they're so poor and so black. And so poor, <laughs> so black. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> right? My favorite Wolf <laughs> oh my quote, quote ever. I'm like, oh, you're right. God damn. <laughs> like, like. Every time I think about Wolf Blitzer saying that wild <laughs> shit, right. I also got to remember that Wolf Blitzer tried tragically <laughs> to do the Dougie. And then like, I was like, <laughs> like, like right, 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 right. Like, I got to remember, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, as ignorant as this old honky is, he's still an ally. <laughs> uh, you say so. Still, he's trying, B. All he's right, he's trying. All right, well, back. Okay, anyway, we digress. That was that was quite the digression to Wolf Blitzer. Yeah, well, fuck that guy. Anyway. Uh, as it goes, um, these little black girls are are inherently going to be his victims, and because they don't have 
a voice in larger society and larger media or a large presence sure. in larger society and large media. Like, which is, which, at this point, we just have to make these factual understandings of these things. Because right. there are... This is just how it is. Right. Because there are less black people here, right? right? And because there are these vast majorities of more... Uh, uh, the more wealthy we just need to quit caring like about what the fringe understand. thinks. Right. The rest, there's so many of us on all the same page. We just need to stop caring about right. these people. So like, at, okay. So like, these girls don't have a voice, and because they don't have a voice, that voice has as their cries have essentially gone unheard. Sure. Um, all right. The analogy I'll draw to this is something everyone has watched, the making a murderer thing, right? Brendan mm-hmm. Dassey. Brendan Dassey in that interrogation that lasted way too long. And his mom has an IQ that is fucking well below average, right? Yeah. So they're ill-equipped to fucking deal with the situation. Which is like, if it was any one of us, we'd be like, okay, nope, stop questioning my fucking kid. Get the fuck out of here. I want my lawyer here. But the IQ wasn't there. But we're doing, we're dealing with the same thing. But it's not an IQ thing. It's a, a educational fucking, socioeconomical fucking barrier. Man, look, man, now those are two entirely different. So those are two. Man, fuck all that. Um, the government has conspired to keep its citizens uneducated, sure. and that is a well, yeah, Republican sure. thing, sure, right? Sure. So because sure. motherfuckers ain't got no sense, is like you ain't getting no sympathy points from me off that. Period. Right. Right. So like. Um, the Brendan Dancy thing because they didn't know to shut the fuck up. Well, that's their problem. You probably now you're. But it's in jail. the same thing. Like you're dealing. It's but lack of information. I feel the same way. Like, I feel the same if, way if when I watch the first forty eight and I see these brothers more get informed. They wouldn't be under fucking R. Kelly's spell. Okay, you got a thousand dollars to go the there parents. and fuck them. This is about sure, their parents, but, and as far as that goes, right? And as far as the children go, like, of how course involved, they're not going to understand. If you're working fucking three oh, yeah. jobs, how involved can you fucking be? I don't know, man. Right? If you fi- you know what? I was watching the Bobby Kennedy um, deal on ABC or CB, whatever the fuck it was. I, one thing, one thing from that stuck out to me about, uh, about the youngest Kennedy boy that died in the plane crash. Yeah. What's his John name? F. Kennedy. John. He was the John was, John. Was right. Jack. Well, yeah. Whatever they like, called him. Listen, this is a fucking. This is a real shame, right? This is a real tragedy. The plane he died that at 38 years old. You know what his mom said? Go. Jacqueline Kennedy said that if you fail at being a parent, what good is your life? What good have you fucking done if you fail at being a parent? Right? right. So this is the most important task that you were offered. You were not given an instruction book, but the rules are real fucking simple. Treat the one that you bring up with love and treat them. Yeah, but lo- you're and teach them integrity. But like that's where it gets weird because you're like that's your value, and you're assuming everyone else grew up with that value, and clearly they didn't. But R. R. Kelly. Kelly is a fucking animal. Dude. And it's gone on for a long time, and at some point, we've got to come to a conclusion. Like, what I see on... on uh, Chris Brown still be fucking making songs. Oh, my goodness. So, it's... It, Vince Neil killed somebody in a fucking car crash, and Miley Cruz still be making fucking music. Straight up. Like, like why do I don't we just, like, give them passes? Are. Straight it's up. It's crazy. Like, I don't even... I don't know. D. I don't know who those people are. It was a couple of white people. Like, okay, but what you tell? See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't have any insight into that. I don't have any insight into that media, right? Well, like, I, my story simply doesn't have the advantage of that vantage point. I can't see it. Yeah, but it's you can't say the advantage. It's, a, it's, a, it's the same. It's the same way, right? Or disadvantage, right? And it's the exact it's, same right. thing. Like, I don't right. have the same shit you know. The you're only not, but you're not I seeing know. the same shit either. So it's right. Well, but that's the media at large. So that, that's why that to me is why these individuals haven't had the opportunity. Like we haven't been able to stop R. Kelly before now because there is the deficit in 
media exposure well, there but is like, a listen, deficit no, in, in sharing of the story. I don't even blame them. Take the media out of it. He's a predator, and he knows yes. who to go after. You go after people that can't stand up for themselves or don't know any better. And, and he, that's all he's doing. And the, the only advantage he has over the creep down the street is he has fucking millions of dollars to throw at people. B. And a fucking carrot on a stick. He's hey, not, you keep doing this, you can be in a video, carrot. you can do... Yeah, absolutely, That's dude. a big motherfucking carrot. Let's for look, real. But that's such a big carrot, as a matter of fact, that while it took him six fucking years from when he was indicted to when he ended up being like going to trial and all of that you know how big the carrot is of being a mm. multi-millionaire being the quote pied piper king sure. of r&b you know how big that carrot is after the trial the judge had a trial rap party where he invited the defense, the prosecution, the court reporters. And they all hang out and, and it's drink said that fucking. everybody had this great fucking time. Oh, That's the craziest Lord. shit. This trial took six years. Like, the, the judge... And that's not like the... So we know he's, R. Kelly's a predator. What we know and is that story. big money does a lot. Oh, yeah. Well, that's not... It does a, a whole secret. lot. Right. It's crazy, right? So his big money does a lot. His the judge and his criminal conviction is uh, off to say the very least. We know that teachers have come forward um, in regard to well, you know, if anything happened, if there was any hanky panky, then it happened off school premises, and it takes two to tango. But we're talking about thirteen, fourteen, fifteen year old babies, so you know what I'm saying they're not a whole two. Well, they're when I think about one. it, like if I was fucking 16 and Dave Grohl propositioned me, I would have done it in a fucking second. But yesterday, just last night, right, or maybe the night before last, he goes to, uh, what is it, like V75? Club in Chicago. In Chicago. And women were tweeting him. Women were tweeting him. Take me hostage. Take me. Hold me. I want to be here. So, like... Oh, there is clearly a messaging problem here. (laughs) (laughs) Am I right? This is this is the single most ridiculous shit that I've heard since I heard President Trump on Wednesday night. Cannabis corner. Yo, so this week I went up with uh, Melissa Sargent. Representative Sergeant and Eric Marsh from Southeastern Wisconsin Normal to Portage, Wisconsin. And uh, I met with the police chief and the school resource officer yeah, yeah, up yeah. there at the... I at know the, them peeps. Yeah, the UW Flag Extension Conference. It was really, really dope. There were a bunch of like young students up there, uh, 15, 16, 17-year-old, right around R. Kelly's target. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Come on. They would, uh. I'm an atheist, but I'm saying a prayer right now. <laughs> you know, I had to throw that awfulness in. <laughs> they, they posed these very um, conscious questions to us in regards to mental health uh, or this group of political uh, issue professionals. Um, and we, we kind of worked it out there. And the biggest thing that we came away with from that from that meeting and from that conversation was that A, every single year that we actively choose not to regulate cannabis, we effectively choose to allow criminal enterprise sure. to regulate I've been cannabis. I've arguing that forever, yeah. Right. And we know that drug dealers don't check IDs, right? Right. So the thing is, we need cannabis to be behind the counter and not sure. on the corner, right? Yeah. That's, that's where it belongs. And that it was great that both the school resource officer and the chief of police agreed with both uh, with Melissa Sargent, Eric Marsh, and I on that That's very cool. point. So, well, it's you know, hard to argue. You know, and the, it's great because uh, we actually got an endorsement for medical marijuana from the police chief. He believes that, that should be a regulated thing. So that's awesome. Awesome. 
Yeah. All right, happy birthday, motherfucker. Holy shit, happy birthday. Yo, yo uh, shout out to Quality CBD for hosting this incredible episode. Yeah. And um, that's all I got. <laughs> Word.